dearest how are you today so today i'm going to be showing you how i made this pretty trendy crinoline fascinator in the tutorial you get to know how to do the crinolines in loops like you can see there how to make the bed cage to lap as you can see and i'll be showing you how you can make this flower with poly or any other type of material now before we get into that, I want us to look at yesterday's tutorial. Remember at the end, we made this other design. Now I was like, let me show you what you could do with it. You could take a flower like this, this rose, bend the wire like so and place it in. What do you think? Does it look great? If it looks great, say yesterday's tutorial was great. If you didn't get to watch it, please check the description of this video. I will drop a link there. Now, here are the materials we'll be making use of. This is a one yard of crinoline. This is a um, six width inch crinoline and it has been ironed. I folded it into two and ironed it down. Now, I'm measuring so that you would see that of a truth, it is one yard. And one yard gives you what? Can I hear you shout? Yes, that's 36 inches. Okay, so we'll be needing that and we'll be needing your measurement tape. Then we'll be needing the spiky feathers. This is called spiky feathers. Then we'll be needing your scissors. We'll be needing your elastic band. I mean, your Alice band, the thin one, very thin one. And you attach your Alice band. If you don't know how to attach the Alice band, let me know in the comment section below. Your Uhu gum which just flew away. And then your bias. This I use safety pin to click this bias. Just in case your pin gets missing, you've seen, you can use safety pin. And this flower is what we're going to be using. If you want to make with Ankara or Poli or any other thing, you can join us in brush class three. And I would get you to know how to do that that you can find in the bandcraft academy reception below click there and make a request for the brush class now we'll also be making use of our bed cage now this bed cage is 7.5 inches so the first thing you want to do is to sew the two edges of your crinoline and i'm going to show you how to do the first keep watching and learning it so remember to do the other end like same the next thing you want to do is measure 12 inches remember it's 36 inches and i want to make it in loops of three so that's 12 12 12 so this is how you fold it just keep watching i'll show you how you fold and so i'll keep quiet now so that you can get the hang of it to form this lovely loops that i just created today Remember at the end of our video we always have a challenge which will enable you to attend a class for free. Don't miss it. Stick around to the very end. Okay so once you've gathered them together the next thing you want to do is take your needle and thread and you begin to sew it. Now in case you're unable to hold them together like so you can after you do the first loop you can sew do the second you sew it together and the third you sew so depending on how you can work it out it will still give you the same look. the look very pretty isn't it i think so so the next thing i did was to take my bed cage veil now i was checking for the part that is smooth this is a bed cage veil that remained so i saw the smooth part so i'm going to be pleating the rough part since i'm not going to use for anything to be covered so that's the part i'm pleating i don't need to make it smooth since i'm not going to show that part so i pleat like so and i take my needle and thread and I begin to sew it. Now, yes, in case you can't find any of the materials used here in your local store, please do check the description of this video. Below you will see the description. You would find um, where you can um, purchase them. Amazon, AliExpress links and my link also. So, okay, the next thing you want to do is sew it to your Alice band. Remember I said this is your 0.2 inch Alice band. Now, all Alice band, most of them anyway, they do come with material that covers them so that's what i'm using to hold the um, veil on the alice band but i'm also turning it around so that it sits firmly 
Okay, the next thing I did was to take the loops that I've made, the crinoline loops, and I'm going to sew it to it, ensuring it stands. Now, the way to ensure it stands is you place it standing, and then you pass it through the material, through the material of the Alice Band, through the um, crinoline, and you continue like so. So keep watching and learning. Okay, so the next thing I did was to take that flower. This flower was actually ready-made, but this inspired me to make a poly rose a long time ago. And so I created a video on it, which I showed you earlier. So if you want to learn how to make um, the rose using um, materials or um, poly, you, for if you're using ordinary materials, you will need to bond the edges. But for pulley, you just use it like that and it gets to this beautiful. So you can imagine this season, you can just use your material, make the rules like that and use crinoline, use the veil. Or you can even use the lace of the material if you add the material to the lace and it would be... Mwah! Okay, so let's get back to the tutorial. So you can see the way I'm sewing the... Um, the flower so you see how i sew it so i make sure that it goes on the last part of that cream line so it holds firmly on the cream line so everything is held firmly keep watching and learning For today's game challenge, how many brush classes do I have in the Vent Craft Academy? I'm going to be picking seven winners and those seven winners will be attending brush class three, the one to let you know how to make this rose and much more for free. Take your oho gong and put on your feathers the tip of it and start pushing it in some located locations in your flower. Have you noticed the join um, button when you want to click the subscribe, the join button? Now that join button is a way for you to assist in my YouTube, meaning when you join, you are asked to make payment and it's quite cheap. I think it's um, $2.99 per month and that will assist me to create designs like when you ask for me to please and um, you would like to see this design and this design i'll be able to get the materials and create for you as quick as possible so please do join me and become a member of the Ventcraft academy click on the join beside the subscribe button or the subscribed button and join me in building up this channel that anybody who comes here will be able to find solutions to their millenary challenges. My bias to cover up the thread that was sewing behind. So what do you think? What do you think about this great design? If you love this, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, sweetheart, click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos and check out this next Crinoline Fascinator.